Hey YouTube, it's me again. I had a lot of things going on today. I'm just there's a lot of things in my life that are going on right now, and it's like I had I, me and my dad. Ever since I kind of revealed to my dad that I was going to the Pentecostal church across the street, he kind of flipped out. And because I was raised Catholic all my life, and well, he thought he's like, well, you're gonna go to hell now, and this and that, and, and I feel closer to God than I ever have. But you know, just a lot of things have been going down lately, and just, I've been being there's just a lot, a lot of things going on. I've really been struggling. I don't have any money, and I'm just like. I'm uploading videos on YouTube with my freaking iPod right now. I'm just hoping to get some people watching me and get some money off of this. But, you know. It wasn't until I actually just sat down. It's like, I asked God, like, give me a sign or something, you know, to, to let me know that I have a purpose in this world, that there's something that I need to be here for. Otherwise, please, just kill me now, get rid of me, and end this suffering. Because I just, I'm tired of living in this world where I can't succeed. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's a world where everybody wants to be a victim, and, you know, you, you got the gays and the lesbians and the blacks and, you know, like, every everybody wants to be a victim, I mean, you know, you do what you do, but the only people left are the people that aren't allowed to be victims. The fucking white mans. White males. They're not allowed to be victims. So, I'm just, you know, I'm tired of hearing about privilege. Privilege this, privilege that. You think, I, I, I fucking get turned down for jobs just as much as anyone. Actually, I pretty much... Nine times out of ten. I mean, I, I, I really don't fucking job search anymore because it's like, unless you know somebody, I can't get a job anywhere. I mean, but here I am going on a freaking rant. But really, I'm getting off topic. It's like I could see Jesus there in the seat next to me. That chair, that chair, right there. And it's funny because I didn't even realize until... After I talked to him for a while, those are my church clothes sitting there on that recliner. And it was just like, just signs, because I just, I drove a, like a, a buddy in the apartments here, like I, he wanted to ride to the bank. And I was like, okay, I'll try out this FM transmitter I just tried for the first time. I pushed the, I couldn't find it, it wasn't working, so I pushed the smart scan button on it, and I was like, maybe that'll scan, see if there's a channel that's not being used that we can run this FM transmitter off of. I pushed the smart scan button, and it took me to a Christian music station, which really, it just, like, it kind of hit me, like, God's talking to me right now. So, we got back, and you know, the guys left, and now I'm just sitting here alone, and it's just like I can feel his presence in the room. So I just started talking to him. Like, hey, let's. And I know you're there. And he told me a lot of things I needed to hear. And then he kind of stopped talking for a second. It was, it was, it was like something kind of funny. I kind of, kind of chuckled at. And then I kind of. Well, I mean, it, it was, it was like he, he kind of gave. He said something. He said. He said, just try. And, uh, like, that's, you know, like, and, and I'm like, am I trying now? Am I trying hard enough? Like, am I doing what I need to be doing? And he said, yes and no. And I said, what does that mean? Like, what, what, how am I supposed to go off of that? And he said, think about it. So I just sat there and I just kind of, yeah, like I got now. I don't know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> I was like, "Are you still there?" Because I thought he might have left after that. And he said, 
<laughs> no, I'm here. I'll always be here. And, yeah, I kind of cried a little bit. That was the first time I ever cried for you. You see people on TV, like, crying for when Obama became president and stuff. Yeah, it changes here, you know? Like, when's, when have you ever cried a, a tear for Jesus? And I never had. I, I never really cried for him. I doubt it's, it's pretty tough for me to feel emotions or really come out with anything, which is funny because I'm putting this on the internet. But, you know, that's for the first time in my life. I cried a tear for Jesus. I kind of laughed about it, and I was like, that's... I, I, I always thought, like, I, 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 I couldn't do it. It wasn't possible, and it, it happened. I know he's here, and he's here right now. Anyways, I just thought I'd make a little vlog and share with you guys. Yeah, I think I can keep going for a little while. I thought I was about to just. Yeah, yeah, you get those feel those those days where you just wanna you just wanna say screw it and go live in a cave somewhere for the rest of your days and not ever have to live around or talk to and not, and not even see another person. I just, I'm not really good around people. I wasn't, I, I was raised, like, in a way that, is, like, I kind of, I bottle up my, my emotions. I bottle things up. I just, I don't, I don't show emotion. And, like, I don't say what's on my mind. I just let it eat at me. And it's, it's not healthy. But, like, I don't know how to, I, I don't know how to just be around people. I'm just... I haven't really been around to it. Anyways, um, this video is over. Right I'm fucking done with this. Uh, I'll come up with new some shit tomorrow. If you like this, share it. That'd be cool. I, I don't know how likes really go. I, 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 don't, I mean, you can subscribe. That'd be cool, too. Anyways, yeah. Later.